there's a lot of water issues around the world, we definitely feel it here in California and just imagine it 10, 20, 50 times worse in other places. I have a passion to see people having water. My name is Chris Hyun. I'm a graduate student at UC Berkeley in the Energy Resources Group. One of Bangalore's biggest problems is intermittent water supply, meaning they don't get water all the time. There's not 24-7 water. This is a problem that affects 400 million people in the developing world, 250 million of those living in India. The average household in Bangalore gets about 4.5 hours of water every other day. It tends to be off schedule. Sometimes I have to wait many hours all day for water that may or may not come. If you have enough money, you would store water when the water comes. They'll build in rooftop tanks. If you can't afford that, uh, you just have to fill every bucket and pot and pan you have in the house whenever the water comes. The way the water utility gets their water through pipes to the people is through these people called valvemen. And the valvemen, they basically go to different neighborhoods and turn the water on and off according to a schedule. And it should work except there are a lot of different roadblocks along the way. Um, there can be technical problems such as pumps being broken and just there's just no water. Or there can be different social problems like maybe the valvemen is sick or maybe their child is sick, maybe they're on a lunch break. And they just can't get to the valve on time. And so there's a company called Nextrop, um, which was started by UC Berkeley students. And they tell people when the water will turn on and off because people don't really know when they're going to get water. Our research project was about looking at Nextrop and seeing how its services were going to imp could impact a large city like Bangalore. Valvemen all have cell phones, and they contact Nextrop every time they open a valve or close a valve and every time there's a delay in service. And then Nextrop takes that information and sends that to the customers, telling them, okay, your water will be turned on in about an hour and a half, or your water is going to be delayed, or there's gonna be no water today. It's gonna to take decades to actually pull together financing to actually rebuild these systems. But what they've developed is um, an intermediate solution that makes it much easier for households to cope with what is admittedly uh, a more deficient service. What we found were the different inefficiencies in the water utility and the various roadblocks for Valvemen to give that accurate information to the next drop. In the developed world, we're used to just turning on the water and it's turning on, and we don't know how it got there. And to follow around the valve mend and to see what they go through on a day-to-day -day basis, to see pipes broken, to see them not able to do their jobs uh, many times, you can see the process that it takes to get that water into your tap. Even valve mend can be quite crucial to the whole thing, uh, to making water systems work. 